Good day one and all and welcome back to the Particulars Let's Play. What on earth is this game Particulars I hear you cry? Well, let me tell you, it's a physics puzzler. It not only has physics in terms of the gameplay, as in things bouncing around and, and interacting with other things, but it's even about physics. It's a physics physics puzzle. Because it's got subatomic particles. You're actually playing as a quark. And it's all done through the medium of um, reports by Alison, who I suspect is going to turn out to be a particle physicist, and how she used to get into trouble at school um, because basically she was eccentric and a genius and nobody understood her and um, I think that's that's fine and I'm sure many of you um, lovely computer people can relate to that because we're all geeks and um, I thought that seeing as though I am a doctor of physics I should do some physics somewhere in this let's play somewhere in this series one year of gaming so there you go you've you've got it so I'm going to resume now and uh, keep moving on up through these levels. Resume. So I have got to... I'm a down quark. I've got a cat... Oh no, I've already got my up quark. I've got to manage my centre of rotation. And bring both in here. There we go. It's very hard trying not to move too much. Come on. And I've got to send one down there. Send one. Ah, I can repel it. Maybe? Can I? Ah, there we go. Oh, now I have to get them both. I have to get them both in the same time. There we go. There it goes. <laughs> Do we have to stay? Yes. We have to stay. What's so interesting about those science books anyway? Gemma Gittens, Potential Best Friend, Opportunity Squandered, 2005. I really can't remember friends being that snotty about the science I was doing. I think they understood that that was just what I wanted to do. Maybe I didn't listen or I didn't hear the, what they were saying. Because there were, when I did A-levels, in, in the UK, there were two females in the class, but I never, it, I never realised it. I was still oblivious. I was still thinking, I want to learn physics. Okay, reverse your polarity by sticking together. Reverse polarity by sticking together. Glow indicates charge. Right, so I'm a down quark, I'm white. We've got to keep away from this black thing. Shepherd the anti-down over here. This black thing's an anti-down. So that means I'm... Normally that would create an annihilation event. However, because I'm paired with this um, up quark, I'm now repelling this anti-down. <laughs> Forced it in there. Now at this rate, the game's going to be over quite quickly, I, I anticipate. Would be really nice if it fits in just for this let's play. The smartest decision I ever made. Gabby Valdez, best friend. Ah, she's now a lab partner. She's now working in a lab, 2006. Okie doke, let's see what's next. Up has an ante. It can't hurt you. Okay, I'm get, guessing we're going to collect an... Oh. An anti-up quark. Very negative. They're harmless. Oh, I need this data. I've got to get five of these. 
They can't harm me, but they're going to smack into the others. Whee! And I just need to get hold of the data. Yep. Learning is fun! The intensity <laughs> of your focus on physics is intoxicating. I hope that our college will be a haven within which you can unleash your passion. That's a bit of a better attitude. Dean of Admissions, 2006. <laughs> Later arrested. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, got to keep it safe. Secret is optional. Ooh, I've got to survive for 25 seconds. Protect the up quark. You come with me. Hmm. Don't let any particles explode. Right, can we, should we do that again? Protect the up quark. Hey. You come with me. No. <laughs> no, come with me. Come with me. Stop going over there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to catch it quickly this time. Yeah. I think these anti-ups are attracted to my up quark go away go away dunnage <laughs> we are delighted to offer you a place on the origins project beginning this september letter from dr philippa gray origins project coordinator 2010 origins project origins i'm assuming that's big bang the primordial soup, as they call it. Annihilate 12 particle pairs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> cool. Right. Um, I'm just going to hide in the corner. And, and Oh my goodness, I can't hide in the corner. They put me back in the middle. I'm staying up there. Go away. Leave me alone. No. Leave me alone. Ah! Slow down. Slow down. You just all go and destroy yourselves whilst I hang around. No, they're going to be... One, two, three. I've got four. Hey, you, you black things. Go and smash into the white ones. <laughs> of course, none of this would happen. You wouldn't get globules of similar particles all bombing around together. They would have annihilated in, in less than milliseconds by now. Go on, that was supposed to make you all smash into one another. They look like flapping birds. Risky move. Actually, I can smash into the white ones. Hey, you. Go, go to the black ones. Neutron! Woohoo! Now, what's a neutron? Neutron is two down, one up quark. Yes. And it's that imbalance that actually gives a neutron its um, a dipole moment, which is what gives it a spin, it gives it its magnetic properties. This imbalance got three particles. <gasps> oh! And a proton is two up and one down. Ooh, 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 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't quite know how I managed that one. Why are we doing this again? Didn't I do everything last time? Come on. Oh yeah. Did it! Hey Al, don't forget drinks tonight. You promised. Gabby, Ooh. 2014. 2014. We're getting closer. <gasps> Hand of fate. Hey Al, don't forget, drinks tonight, you promised. Where are you? Almost there. Well hurry up, everyone's here. Drama. <gasps> Is our genius... Ooh, is she dead? Wasn't she just run over by a car? Now if Top Hats was watching this, he would want to know which bar that is in New South Wales that has bar stalls. <gasps> the dude's gone. Where's he gone, Ally? He left a note. Ew. Origins. I have no idea where this game is going. <laughs> no idea. I, well, I was quite happy playing as a subatomic particle. Chapter two, maybe? <laughs> okay, good. Thank goodness for that. We're back to particles again. Did you see the four forces there? I have there? said so many times, God doesn't play dice with the world. Albert Einstein, 1943. Now this was this was Einstein's response to the um, all of this newfangled quantum mechanical theory that was coming out that said, uh, "Well, to be honest, it's just probabilities. Yeah, it might happen, it might not. But one thing is guaranteed: if you do look and try and see what's actually happening, that's also going to affect the system. By observing what's happening, you affect the outcome." just brilliant I love that it's it's like a paradox it's great let's see what we've got to do next neutrons woohoo so I actually work at um, a nuclear reactor and this generates lots of neutrons and we use them to uh, probe matter at the atomic level so I'm very happy to now be playing a neutron so Neutron, two downs, one up, as I said earlier. An anti-neutron is not a proton. Let's be clear about that. Neutrons and protons are in the nucleus. Anti-neutron is two anti-downs and one anti-up. These are different particles. Oh, look, I've already joined the neutron. Okay, let's press space to expel. <gasps> cool! Right, let's go and cap capture them again and expel them in that general direction. <laughs> get in. Right, now, do I need to capture the data? Yes. Ah, now I get it. Okay. Cool. From the corner of my eye, I saw the girls falling backwards. It seemed to take them minutes to hit the ground. Oh, have you ever been in that situation where you're... You're in a major, you know a major accident is coming and everything slows down. It's so weird. It's, it's you know, a defense mechanism that we've, we being humans, have developed over thousands and thousands of years um, in order that we can uh, react properly, in order that we can um, have several thought processes that we wouldn't normally be able to have in, in a split second. And... The effect is, is that it looks like everything has slowed down to, to other people. It's, it's obviously everything's passing in normal time, but your perception gives you those extra few seconds to try and get your head together so that you can do something sensible at this critical moment. Very cool, but um, 
not 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 something that you want to recreate recreate on a daily basis i think anyway the story's progressing it sounds like uh, some travesty has occurred so i'm going to end this episode here and we'll find out what we're going to be doing with the neutrons in the next episode for now i bid you a fond farewell and a tally hair <laughs> <laughs>